we've been living in a deception. It worked for a while until social media came along. And social media is the one that got Trump in, the outsider. And he's about as far from a pedophile as you're going to get. He's after these people, and that's why they're after him. <sighs> pedophile. Pedophile, definitely. Because she eats the babies. Oh, yeah. I call him creepy, sleepy, chomo, Uncle Joe. What's cho more what, is, what does chomo mean? Chomo is a, is a jailhouse term for child molester. <sighs> Pedophile. There's something I need to talk to you about. On May 19th, 1999, you were convicted of sexual abuse in the first degree and sodomy in the second degree of an eight-year-old boy in New Jersey. So according to this paper, you are a registered sex offender and a convicted pedophile. On a false conviction. You want to take a look at this? And I know I've seen the paper. I pled because you I pled knew. guilty. Yeah, because I did what Michael Flynn did. I knew I couldn't win. Have you ever heard the term projection before? Yeah. Do you feel Hillary like Clinton does it all the time? Do you feel like maybe you're projecting? By... No, I'm not projecting. I am engaging in revenge. How are you going to get revenge? Are you, do you plan? I'm going to get revenge by taking down the whole goddamn cabal. Like the protagonist in Law Abiding Citizen, I'm going to pull this whole fucking corrupt temple down around your fucking head. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. In Dave, I sort of saw a man projecting his own shame and, and using the mythology of, of Trump and of these political movements and conspiracies to assign meaning to a broken life.